Hi, I'm Jody Nordstrom here with Seller Notes, and we are talking to Robert Hall today, um, one of the most prestigious wineries in California. Can you tell us a little bit about what got you into the wine and about your winery? I'd love to. Well, first of all, I'd like to tell everybody that coming back to Lakeville is uh, something I started in the uh, late 70s. I built a bowling center here called Burnsville Bowl and uh, some other uh, apartments and so on and so forth. I didn't want to be in the real estate business anymore. And I always wanted to be in the uh, wine business. So I bought 160 acres in Paso Robles, California. I've been to France many, many times, and uh, the, the, uh, the fruit that comes from there is, is what I want, the Rhone Valley. And uh, so that's what we started to do. And I brought back some vines from um, uh, France and uh, eventually and uh, planted them. And uh, we've got 28 different varietals now. Very nice. Of all the wines that you are currently making, which one is your favorite? Well, Jody, uh, I, I'm not trying to correct you, but we can't call it a favorite. Okay. <laughs> so what we do is like, which is your favorite child? So I can't do that, but I can say my wine of choice. Okay. And my wine of choice is usually the Merlot. And so I like steak, and it goes really well with it. But um, there's times I'll sit on my patio and. I like a glass of Sauvignon Blanc, and the Rhone varietal is the flagship of our company. It's a Grenache, Shiraz, Senso, and Cunois, and um, it's got a nice soft uh, feel to it. It's got a good nose. It's uh, kind of like uh, cherries. We did come out this year now uh, uh, with uh, Zinfandel that we used to have, but uh, Zinfandel wasn't popular. Uh, now it's becoming a little more popular, and we're, re we're, we're getting a lot of calls for it. So that will be our next release. Um, I know that you do practice sustainable farming. Yes, we do. What, is, uh, what got you into that, and what makes it so well, important? I, it, I guess we started it because uh, we were stewards of the land. Uh, my winemaker is a real proponent of uh, not putting chemicals on where we're, they're not needed. The reason we went with uh, the SIP program is because um, we, we didn't want to use chemicals, but with organic, they make you use certain chemicals. And uh, the chemicals that they use are uh, between 3 and 9% higher than any other chemical. And uh, so if the, my neighbor would um, spray, it would, we'd lose our certification. And mm -hmm. uh, so seven of us uh, uh, vineyards, vintners decided that we would start our own uh, SIP program. And uh, the city became involved in it. Uh, we, were, we did a lot of things that we felt was necessary. One is uh, we, uh, you have to have owl boxes. Owls work for us all night long, and there's no charge. They don't charge us. Hmm. So uh, they're, they're good for the rodents. And uh, then we have a five mile uh, speed limit in the vineyard because dust kills. And um, uh, you have to be fair to your employees. If you tell them that they've got a vacation coming, and if you tell them you've got holiday coming, you must perform to that. Uh, you have to pay them and that's in the bylaws of the SIP program. Um, you have to uh, uh, have an uh, inspection every year. We pay for the uh, person that does it, and they come out unbeknownst to us, and, and uh, they go around the vineyard to make sure that we're doing exactly what we say that we do. And uh, we've been doing it for, nine, for seven years now. So it's... Uh, it's a way of life, and uh, we, we feel it's good for the industry, and we make better wine. Absolutely. When you're in a winery our size, we don't filter our wine, and uh, so uh, it's, and we don't have any additives, and no supplements, and no enhancers in our wine. Um, and we, everything comes from one of our uh, 
or uh, 400 acres, and uh, we pick by hand. We pick at night, and uh, with all of our white wines as an example, when we pick them, we uh, we pick it. Start at 12 o'clock, and at 6 o'clock in the morning, we're through, and then we put a blanket of uh, dry ice on it for two days, so it locks in the flavor, mm. and. Uh, we do a lot of the little steps that uh, the uh, other wines don't do. And uh, two years ago, we won the, uh, the Golden Bear. Uh, that was the biggest throw that I've ever had. <laughs> um, we, we, we put in two cases of each and 10 different varietals. And then they, they added up the score, and whoever got the highest score won the Golden Bear. And that was in Sacramento at the State Fair. And when they told me, that, are you coming to the uh, uh, show? And I said, um, I, I think I'm going to send Don. And he said, you know, Robert, we haven't seen you for a while. You, you come on out. So when, when that came about, everybody was just elated. And somebody said, would you rather have a 95 uh, and the spectator, or would you rather have the Golden Bear? I said, the Golden Bear? It was legitimate, it didn't cost me anything. <laughs> and uh, so I said, we're just tickled to death to have it. And uh, so to be dubbed the best wine in California <clears throat> is quite an honor. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much for coming to meet with us today. It was well, a pleasure thank you interviewing for you. you hosting us here. You got a beautiful store. This is probably one of the most beautiful beauties that I've ever been in. Thank you very yeah. much. And all of Robert Hall wines are available at any Lakeville Liquors location. All right. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you.